What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on PROG ticker. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news that might affect the price of this company. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should you expect from the price action. So, let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here. Uh, and I've told you that uh, we have uh, to hit with our next uh, movement to the upside uh, the level of uh, at least 1.618 and our next target was right here, this uh, previous swing high and it was a resistance and we hit both of these targets and uh, from, uh, the recent, from this recent accumulation point you might be up uh, to this point uh, of about uh, 60, about 70% and to this point about 96%. But I also made a call from this point and uh, at this point I've told you that uh, we have uh, this target at 1 to 1 extension, it is uh, about $2.57 uh, price point and this one. And for those of you who took my trade and who follow my channel for quite some time, from this point uh, you might be up uh, to this level by also 96% and uh, if you hold uh, this uh, line potentially you have uh, 160 or even 200% depending on uh, your behavior right here and, uh, and congratulations to all of you who took these trades and uh, I will show you what should you expect from the price section in just several minutes and for now let's continue with the fundamentals of this company. So, let's start with the company profile. Progenity, a biotechnology company, provides, develops and commercializes molecular testing products in the United States. So, it is a biotech company and uh, this uh, company has a total market cap of $426.36 million. They have a uh, revenue of uh, $74.94 million with a revenue growth of 90.95%. Very good revenue growth but they still have losses of $233.39 million and their total cash position is not so strong. It, they have $65.99 million and they added to their position, uh, uh, I guess, $20 million with their recent offering and uh, for now it is uh, roughly $80 million. So, Financially, this company is not the best one, but uh, it's uh, quite obvious for these type of biotech companies that they have uh, average uh, financial numbers. So, and uh, let's continue with the recent news. We are on Seeking Alpha and this article was published on October 26th and it's titled Progenity reduces outstanding debt by $20.2 million through private exchange of senior notes for shares. And uh, let me quote you these bullets. Progenity trades 12.1% uh, higher pre-market after it intended uh, into a privately negotiated agreements with a certain non-affiliated holders of its existing 7.25% convertible senior notes due 2025 to exchange uh, $20.2 million principal amount of notes for about uh, 8.51 million shares. And this news is uh, very good uh, for the company and uh, definitely this news drives uh, the price. The recent movement to the upside right here on October 26th was made with this recent news and uh, they searched for about 38% uh, to this highest point and potentially this uh, was uh, the major catalyst uh, for this movement. Next news uh, was published on October 25th and it's titled Although Progenity up 227% uh, in last month, year-to-date return tells a different story. And here is uh, the bullets, let me quote it for you. Progenity has been uh, perhaps uh, the hottest biotech stock uh, over the last month, rising as staggering 227% in that period. The company has been uh, bought uh, in recent weeks uh, by the granting of patents related to its uh, ingestible capsules that uh, can be used uh, to deliver large molecule drugs such as uh, monoclonal antibodies directly to parts of the body. This month this stock uh, benefited uh, from a patent uh, for its uh, preeclampsia test. However, a look uh, at Progenity's year-to-date performance tells a different story. Shares are down 44% during that period. And uh, there is also speculation this stock uh, is uh, the subject uh, 
of a short squeeze. About 22.4% of the company's float is short, according to Fintel. And let me show you this uh, information. Progenity is at the first place of short squeeze screener and uh, it has the short squeeze score of 95.6 points. And this stock is on the first place for about uh, two to three weeks, I think. And uh, this uh, stock still has a possibility to short squeeze uh, their short position. And that's why we still have a possibility to go higher. And let me show you the retail investors sentiment. We are on apewisdom.io and right here we can see that Progenity is on the second place and uh, it has one, more than 1000 mentions and it has uh, uh, it doubled, almost doubled their mentions during the last 24 hours and uh, the number of upvotes is uh, uh, 12,840. And the total sentiment right here, if you click on this uh, link, you can see that the total sentiment is bullish, 70% bullish. And uh, this uh, information also gives us uh, an opportunity to short squeeze uh, uh, the short positions. And uh, right here on uh, stocktweets.com we also have Progenity uh, with the number of uh, mentions uh, of uh, 11,377 and it is on the 6th place. And uh, on the watchers section it is on the 8th place with a number of about uh, 2,000 mentions. So, this stock still has a possibility to go higher, but I have some doubts from the technical standpoint. And before we dive deep into the technical analysis, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So, guys, uh, I did uh, my research, uh, the latest research from this point, and I've told you that uh, we can uh, have uh, this range uh, of about uh, three, of about uh, four dollars as our uh, major resistance. That's why I put uh, our price target at this very point and uh, I still think that uh, we might have uh, uh, this uh, point as our highest point. And technically, as you can see, we broke uh, this uh, resistance and we hit the level of uh, 2.618 and it is the Fibonacci extension level from uh, the third wave. If I pull the Fibonacci extension tool from this bottom to this top and to the bottom of the retracement, right here we have the lowest point. We have uh, this as our 2618 extension level. So technically from this standpoint it is totally okay, but I cannot count any waves right here because uh, I have uh, some doubts about uh, this movement, about this recent movement, because I expected this movement, but I uh, didn't expect uh, this shape right here. As you can see, if we count it like this, if it is the first wave, second, uh, third, fourth and fifth, we should uh, have uh, the fifth wave right here at this very point. And uh, in this case, uh, we should have a retracement uh, from the entire bottom to the top. But instead of this, we had very shallow retracement uh, from this bottom to this top compared uh, with this length. But uh, we have a huge movement to the upside and the volume is also very good. And that is why I have some doubts about this movement. And on top of that, I cannot count this movement like this, as uh, this is our first wave, second, third, fourth and fifth. Technically, it might be okay, but we have uh, this retracement of the fourth wave on the territory of the first one. And this uh, retracement invalidates uh, this count as our motive wave. So, technically, I don't know where we are on the price chart. And uh, if uh, you want to catch the next potential movement, in my opinion, you have to patiently wait until the market will reveal itself. I will do another update uh, when I will see more data from the charts. And for now, just enjoy with your uh, recent uh, gains uh, of uh, 90, about 100% to this point and nine, about 100% to this point. So technically we nailed uh, this movement and uh, technically we had a very good opportunity to have huge profits. And if you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time. Bye.